Apart from Aria, who is your celebrity crush? Do you ever feel pressure to be someone you're not? Do you smoke weed? Thoughts on weed? Your weight and height. What? What's up everybody? It's your girl Merle and I am here in my YouTube channel where I live now sometimes. I figured a great way to kick this all off would be to just answer some of your questions about who I am, what I'm all about. So I posted on my Instagram, people sent in questions and today I'm gonna answer some of those for you. Favorite movie? My favorite movie is Rocky Horror Picture Show. I love it. I think it is revolutionary for its time. I love Tim Curry in drag. How do you tell or explain to friends and family you've known forever about going vegan? I really thought I was gonna get more pushback for going vegan and people were pretty cool about it When I first started going vegan I told more people to hold myself more accountable Just don't put too much stake in other people's opinions of your diet as long as you're not pushing your diet on other people too hard You have nothing to feel ashamed about be proud. How well do you know Ariel? Oh my god, that reminds me. On the way to camp when I was younger, my mom would drive me and I'd be sitting in the back seat and I would just love to pretend to be Ariel. We would recreate the scene where Ursula is stealing Ariel's voice. I was all, ah. My mom would be like, keep singing while she's driving. Aren't you glad you asked that question? Did you go to culinary school or any cooking certification of any kind? No. I learned how to cook on the job. I'm still learning how to cook every day. That's why I tell people, truly, if I can do this, you can do this. How did you accumulate the courage to leave New York and come to LA? I decided that it was going to be more devastating to continue life comfortably with what I knew than it was to take a chance on something more. I mean, it took me a year and a half to make that decision. It seemed like a split decision, but it was actually building and building and building for a while. But I'm just so happy that I did. How do you know when to finally put your trust in someone relationship wise? This is more of an advice question. Trust is something you do. You have to make an active choice to trust someone every single day. If you don't trust someone right now, start looking into why. The best way to put it is like, if you feel like you need to go through someone's phone, don't bother because there's definitely something in there you don't want to find. You know in the back of your head if somebody is being honest with you. Usually. I mean, don't get me wrong. There are some manipulative sociopaths out there. I'm certainly not blaming toxic behavior in relationships on the person who's with the toxic person because I've been in a toxic relationship or two, but I did see red flags along the way. Where do you see your career going in the future? I want to do a lot of things. I would love to continue to advocate for sustainability, raise awareness around women's issues, bring up people whose voices aren't normally heard. I like producing, I like investigating new topics, I like kind of digging up taboo topics, but I'm also a hog for the camera because I do love to act, I do love to perform, and I also love to act as some form of an educator as far as like free information about how to be sustainable, free information about how to be vegan, free information about how to take care of your plants. Thank you for asking me that question because clearly I need to think of a better answer. <laughs> I would like to continue to have creative freedom to shed light on topics that I find are interesting and important, whether I'm in front of the camera or behind the camera or both. That's a good answer. That's a good answer. Your weight and height. What am I, like being auctioned off or something later today? None of your business. I don't know. I don't own a scale. I don't find that to be helpful ever. Do you ever feel pressure to be someone you're not? Damn came for answers. One really good piece of advice I once heard was be careful who you pretend to be because that is who you are. Like everyone in the world, I have had times when I've been really hard on myself. I have to give myself credit in that I think I do a really good job of maintaining the core of who I am as a human being and in my beliefs. But yeah, I feel that pressure. Any fears or phobias? By the way, I love you. Thank you, Joanna, love you. Yep, I have a couple phobias. One is of static electricity, hate it, can't deal with it, and I don't like popping balloons, just hate it. I hate it too, and you know why else? Because balloons are a breeding ground for static electricity. Plastic slides on playgrounds as a child were like nightmare tunnels. It was like a lightning storm in there. Do you smoke weed? Thoughts on weed? My brain does not do well on weed. I just become paranoid. And for a while that would bother me. People would tell me like, you seem like you'd smoke weed. And then I heard that David Bowie also didn't like weed and it made me feel better about it. Rest in peace. But my overall thoughts on weed are, do you live it up? The history of selling marijuana has led to the mass criminalization of hundreds of thousands of people, most of whom are Latinx or black. And now that it's legal, 
a bunch of white people are monopolizing the market and making it almost impossible for independent farmers to compete. It's nothing personal, marijuana. It's just the capitalistic, racist society we live in. At what age and for what reasons did you decide to live sustainably? That's a good question. My mom's an environmentalist. She studied environmental science. She's like a badass woman, just led by great example. She's vegetarian my whole life, but she never made me be vegetarian, which I think is like very, enlightened of her, but she always made sure to explain to me why she made the choices that she made. She made it appear fun and not judgmental, and she was just a great role model for me. Plus, I also love animals, and I love plants, so, and I like life on Earth. It is a privilege to be sustainable. It is a privilege to live eco-friendly. It takes time, it takes money, the education about it. I also believe that with the privilege I've grown into and grown up with, I have a responsibility to use my resources and use that privilege in a responsible way. Apart from Aria, who is your celebrity crush? <laughs> this is a juicy one. Um, I guess Adam Driver is probably one of my celebrity crushes. You know, he's just odd in the right way. So I like him. Would you collaborate with other inspiring foodies? Yes, I would love to collaborate with more people. Come at me. If you're watching this, let's collab. Okay, so now you know a little bit more about me. Please, 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 if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and click the little notification bell so that you can know anytime I'm coming back here to chirp away at you. I will be doing another one of these videos with Aria where we will be answering your questions together. So stay tuned for that.